Welcome everybody to another video. Today I'm going to show you how I got my front lever from nothing to almost perfect in just a few months with a single exercise. But before we get into that, we must first deal with a very common misconception that the front lever is an ab slash core exercise. And that statement is super wrong. Let me show it to you. So if you are able to do a couple of these, then your core is almost certainly strong enough for a front lever. So if you're training your core just to be able to do the front lever, you are most likely getting no benefit at all. Let me explain. Even if your front lever looks something like this, and you might think that, well, to extend your body straight, you need a stronger core. No, absolutely not. The reason why your pelvis sinks like that when doing a front lever is because, look at me, what happens if, let's say I'm doing a front lever right now, what happens if my pelvis sinks? The angle of the arm in relation to the body reduces. And what that does is reduces the torque, making your rear shoulders and your back do a lot less work. And that leads us to the fact that the front lever is primarily a back and rear delt exercise. If we look at the front lever, what we need to do, retract the scapulas, retract the scapulas, depress the shoulders, and then we need to pull against the gravity like this. And these movements are possible thanks to muscles like your lats, teres major, deep rhomboid muscles, posterior deltoid, the traps, the long head of the tricep, and of course the abs to be able to lift up your legs. But as we concluded, most of you are already able to do it. And so finally we get to the way that I trained all of these muscles to be able to do almost a perfect front lever from nothing in just a few months. And the exercise is tuck front lever pull-ups with a little hold at the end of last rep and that's it. Doing them throughout the day, I was able to change everything for my front lever without even really organizing my training. And besides directly strengthening your front lever, what they do is obviously train your full front lever pull-ups, which is obviously a hundred times more impressive skill than the front lever hold. But once you reach your front lever hold, you're gonna want to be able to do it. So you're already training for it. And so you must be thinking, oh, I can't do none of those explosive pull-ups that you're doing, like this won't work for me. Do not worry. This is how you can progress your tuck front lever pull-up. So the first step is going to be just a tight tuck like this and small pull-ups right over here. Do not worry about the small range of motion right now. Even these little reps are going to strengthen all the key muscles for your front lever and you're gonna be able to progress forward quickly. Then after you get a little bit stronger, you can of course start the advanced tuck front lever pull up. Obviously not that high. I start, they're gonna be a lot lower than that. When your regular advanced tuck pull-ups get easy for you, then you can obviously start doing them more explosive and that will get you closer and closer to your full front lever and your front lever pull-ups. Now, if you are unable to do even the easiest tuck front lever pull-up variation, this is what you can do. Do your regular pull-ups and focus on your scapula retraction like this. Dead hang, scapula, retract pull up retract pull up doing pull ups like this is going to get you stronger so you can do your first tuck front lever pull up another thing you can do is australian pull ups same thing focus on scapula retraction pull up retract pull up for this exercise, the higher your feet are gonna be in relation to the rest of your body, the more difficult it's gonna be. If I put my feet up here, it's gonna be significantly harder. So choose progression according to your level so you're able to do at least five reps. So now that you know the single best exercise to strengthen your front lever, there is still something very useful that you can do, especially for the straight arm element of the front lever. Since doing the tuck front lever pull-ups, you don't really spend that much time in the straight arm position. So you can do some exercises to specifically strengthen that straight arm. So the first exercise, simple front lever raises from hanging position. Choose the progression for you that you can do for at least 
three reps and try to keep your arms as straight as possible while maintaining control. Next exercise is negatives. Again, for this one, choose the progression that you can do for at least three reps while maintaining control. And of course, the last exercise, simple holds. Those are still very useful as assistance exercise. Choose the appropriate progression for you to hold at least five seconds. For the holds, another great progression, which I don't see a lot of you guys doing, is the half lay front lever. Why it's so great is because it mimics the full front lever position and it does basically all the same muscle engagement. Of course, this one is not easy, but if you're struggling with your full front lever, this might be a great exercise to take that last step. And now that you know the single best exercise for strengthening your front lever, along with the best straight arm exercises, there is nothing stopping you from making a tremendous progress in your front lever. Of course, there's still lots of things to cover about the front lever in order to understand everything about it, but that is beyond the scope of this video. So if you want more videos like this, be sure to comment down below and I'll see you in the next one.